come to make a couple of remarks and then we'll go to questions. Well, obviously, see this game got away from us early. They scored 34 in the first half, like they scored in the second. I think that's what it was. It'd be a different ball game, but uh, you know, we were a step behind, giving them credit and penetrate and uh, spot up. And uh, I just thought we were a step behind all night. And then, give our guys credit, they battled back, got within seven. Didn't come up with a loose ball or a long rebound. We had a couple of turnovers in that, but that's what happens when you're playing a good team and you've, you've kind of let the game get away from you a little bit uh, early. And um, so, I mean, they just they got really comfortable. Uh, shot 11 for 21. I think at half, though, um, if I'm not mistaken, 8 for 12 from the three. So they got so comfortable that uh, then we had our hands full. We we're too good for that. So just. Uh, not possible to, to come back. But our guys, they rallied in the second half. We, we just keep learning new lessons and, uh, you know, uh, hopefully eventually we'll be able to apply all of them and be successful. And when I say eventually, I'm, I'm hoping it's real soon. What was the scouting report on the stats? Um, oh, we knew we could shoot it, but it wasn't about a scouting report. They did some good stuff and, and we had to over help. So. And then he's got good size. I mean, we, we tried to fight around in front. Times at seven feet, and caught it, laid it in. But uh, and then we were all late on the weak side, um, so we didn't get there. But he got he got wide open. I knew he could do it. We, we told him, but we just couldn't keep that. So now we have Cully Payne on the right and Brendan Cole going to left. Cully, you're uh, learning as you're going here. What did, what did you learn? Uh, learn about yourself. What did you learn about playing at this level tonight? Um, I think playing at this level, it's a team game, man. My coach said we struggled the first half. We came out kind of laid back, which in the second half we turned it up. And, but at that point, when you're playing a good team, like he said, I mean, it's tough for us to rally back. Coach, I think your team only scored 15 points in the last 15 minutes of the game. You guys had a chance to get it under seven a couple of times there in the second half, like you mentioned. What was kind of the difference? Uh, what were they doing defensively during no, that stretch? No, I think we turned it over, if I'm not mistaken. I also think we went to the line maybe. A couple, so if you're at the line and you miss, I mean, you're playing good basketball. And you got fouled. That's I mean, you know you're not going to make all of them, but uh, I, I don't think that they did anything differently. I just think we were. I mean, we lost the ball a couple times that were. I th I felt somewhat unforced, um, but give them credit. Uh, they did a good job. We, I mean, give them credit here. They had nine offensive rebounds. Uh, Texas had seven last night, and they didn't miss that many shots. So you know they were running them down. I, I thought that uh, as far as maintaining our position defensively on the rebound, I, I thought this was maybe our worst effort of the year. And maybe that's because of their speed. Cully, uh, did you guys make it seem like you made a concerted effort to take the ball to the basket more in the second half? Is that is that accurate? Yeah, we were, out, we were looking to attack. Just and it worked pretty good. I mean. In, in Respect. Were they di defending you any differently? Were they expecting you to take the three and you were beating them off the initial dribble or what? Um, I mean, to be honest, I don't really know exactly what they were doing. It was just kind of reads I was making along the way. Do you feel like maybe the effects of playing five games over a ten-day stretch may have caught up with you for any of you, Brandon? Or? I don't know. I think so. I mean, we came out and, uh, you know, we just didn't uh, – we came out with a different kind of energy the second half than we did the first half. You know, the first half, you know, we were kind of real passive. We didn't really look to attack. And the second half, we kind of came out. And, you know, Coach coach, uh, coach made a notice that, you know, if once we get to the rim, they like to foul. And uh, we were in the bonus halfway through on the first half. So that's when our guards decided, you know, it's they can take the hole and, and they're going to foul us when we get there. Cully, the ice pack on the hand, is that anything serious? or No, it's fine. It's a little bruise. Coach, the status of Aaron Fuller right now? Is he still necked up? He's really sore today. He tried to play yesterday. I mean, he just turned it, um, you know, a few days ago uh, when he was in the uh, Bowling Green game. So, uh, that guy's out a long time. He's worked hard to try to get back, but he just couldn't couldn't move. So, I'm not going to compound it by putting him in there. Todd, what have you learned about this team over the past 10 days? Well, um, you know, I don't know that it's important I learned. I think it's a lot more important what they learned. And, uh, you know, so what I've tried to do is just guide them through it. Uh, I've been in a lot of different
approaches, as I told them a while back, uh, I've been their age before. They've never been my age, so I've kind of seen some different things, and I've got an idea of uh, what it takes. Um, this is a team that uh, they got a chance to, to uh, you know, I, I've seen it too much. They got a, it's stated a long time ago, I like this team. They got a chance to be good, um, but they don't have a chance to be um, uh, good if, uh, if they're not willing to just really fight for it. I mean, it is going to take a high level of competitiveness uh, for us to be good and a high level of uh, concentration and commitment. Um, you know, if, if we're passive or if we uh, accept, um, you know, I, I guess. We're going to have to, uh, we cannot accept um, uh, a very high degree of um, ineffectiveness. I mean, we, we just have to demand it of ourselves. And it's not like it's easy. These guys, we, this is the best schedule we've played since I've been here uh, starting off. I mean, let's face it, look at um, the two best teams, in my opinion, uh, in, the, in the field before. And when I say there's no question, that's my opinion. And then we get here in Texas. They might, I don't know if they'll win tonight, but projected they're, they're the best. They were very good. We played a late game. Then we come back and play a very good Wichita game. We, this has been a very, very demanding opening uh, schedule. With that said, I don't think there's a kid in here that has made an excuse or accepted it or whatever. Um, so if that being the case, um, maybe we'll be better off in the long run. For the lessons that, that uh, these guys have learned, not really what I've learned, but what they've learned. Can you talk a little bit about your freshmen? I believe they scored 37 points. Uh, they seem to. Well, one thing about the, the freshmen is um, uh, uh, the freshmen are that um, part of the reason they're here is, uh, I, in my opinion, the, the upperclassmen that we have. Uh, I think there's a good relationship there. They believe in those upperclassmen. So, and I think the upperclassmen have been good, good to them. Now, when you talk about veterans, very seldom do you talk sophomores, and that's kind of what we're doing. Uh, you know, we got Brandon, and, or we got uh, Jared and, and Devin, but we're, we're even the guys that are leading them are fairly young. But uh, these freshmen, one of the things that I like about them is I thought that uh, they had an approach that uh, they didn't like. They were like me. They didn't like where we were. And then I think the guys we sign, they like the guys that are here too, and so they can see that uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna fight this thing. So. Coley, to be young and a floor leader at the same time, do you, with a young team like this, do you feel more of a responsibility to provide leadership maybe that you wouldn't if you were with a veteran laden team? Well, I think either way, being the point guard, it's a lot of leadership, kind of being the coach on the floor, but. I mean, with, with Coach and Coach Val, I mean, I've really kind of took those steps to be that leader, so I really don't feel much pressure. And I got great veterans, like Coach said, Matt, Tug, Jared, Wink. I mean, I got great guys around me that are always there to kind of help me along the way. One last question. But Tom, no reason in the world why a freshman can't lead. Um, I remember watching Syracuse a few years ago, and they had a pretty good freshman leading it all the way to the Final Four. Um, if you don't know who I'm talking about, It's okay, freshman lead. I don't have a problem with that. Yes, was there another question? Um, Devin played 23 minutes tonight and didn't get a shot off. Is that something that Wichita did? or? Yeah, he's – one thing about Devin is, is that um, you know, he, he just he, – he will not shoot a bad shot. And, uh, you know, that, that's to his credit. And um, so, you know, he's, he's going to pass up. And unless he feels like he can make it, he's going to pass it up. We found you something. I don't know. Uh, maybe we maybe could find you a, a look or two. You know, if we we're going at it, but you know, we just have to see how that goes. He, the one thing with Devin too is, is uh, if you look, he had a turnover, but that's he, he doesn't turn it over. He just throws it to the open man and he tries to defend. So um, you know, he he, he can.
contributes uh, regardless whether she's with